Okay, now we are going to import uh, the 3ds files which which uh, we exported uh, from Rhino. So I will so I will first import both files, which is scaled and unscaled. So I, I wanted to show you uh, what happened if you export it without scale. So I will first import uh, 3D CAD geometry, and here the default is 3D Studio S. If it is not, just change uh, to 3D S by clicking here and choose file. And my file is in desktop, and here I'll first import a site model without scale and then open it and then just uh, import into existing so now here's our model so and also make sure that we are in 3d editor and then if you use right mouse button is also pen and actually it, this is a little different if you use shift and up and down actually this one is actually zooming also you can just use zoom in too and then the left mouse button is actually selection and actually if you click middle button and actually it, it is panning so it's a right mouse button, orbit, mid button, uh, pan, and then uh, wheel is zoom in and out. Okay, so, and then if you want to uh, click, try to have fun with this one. So this one is uh, set, move it to center. And then this one is actually, if you select it, it's just kind of zoom that way direction. So use it, have fun with this stuff. So, bef and then right after import your geometry, one thing you must have to do is actually measuring uh, the scale, the size of model. So check whether this model is right, correct geometry. So actually, if you see here on the left side, the third one is actually a, a, a scale a measuring tape. So I click it, and then I will roughly measure somewhere here at the corner, and then another corner. This one actually is supposed to be uh, 250 feet, but actually it's nine feet only, because it, this one is actually millimeter scale because. The, the internal equitect internal scale is millimeters so actually it read our geometry is millimeter so I just cancel it and then to select it make sure that this one is activated I select everything and I just simply delete it and I will say yes so now I will import the second one which is file uh, import a 3d CAD geometry so if you measure if you have problem that which, which is you forgot uh, scaling uh, up so I'll choose the file which is the second one scaled and open and import into existing so now we have another model here looks just similar to each other but similar with before I'll just check the measure the distance between uh, two distance using measuring tape so now actually this one says 250 feet so now it's actually working fine so this one is how to input uh, geometry into uh, Ecotec